welcome to Budget Fishing. <clears throat> Today's video is going to be about the Ultimate uh, Adventure Barrow. Um, I had a request to do about a kayak barrow recently. Um, I picked one up a couple of months ago. Uh, had a look around. A lot of stock was a lot of places were out of stock with everything. Um, wasn't sure on how much I should or wanted to spend with regards to purchasing a barrow, um, but I found one in stock at fishdeal.co.uk <clears throat> um, it was 80 quid a uh, little bit skeptical um, when I placed the order due to the fact that a lot of other things were sort of 150 to 250 quid so part of me was wondering um, whether or not it was going to be worth the money um, or if it's uh, one of those things that um, it's just going to be a cheap uh, piece of garbage basically um, so I've got it, it's uh, flat packed uh, down next to me, um, I will set it up in a minute, I'll run through how it is to set up, um, but as you can see, uh, we've got it, it's all folded down nice and flat at the moment, wheel and the handles are over there, um, and the rod rest, so um, yeah, I shall set it all up for you in real time, um, run through the pros and the cons with it, and uh, go from there. So. Here it is, as I said, it's all flat packed down. Um, it's all nice and it's actually very slim. So as you can see, it's about 80 centimeters in length as it is in this folded up bit um, and about 40, 50 centimeters wide. You then get your two handles here and you get your rod holder and the wheel comes in um, like so. Very easy to set up, a couple of pins, um, a couple of clips and washers there to, to put it all together. Um, it was straight out of the box, didn't need to read the instructions, which was always nice. Um, so, I'll put it flat, as you can see the bag's at the front. Um, I shall put it flat down here, fold up that end, fold the sides out. I'll put a better angle of this in a minute once it's uh, all set up. I shall pop the rear legs up. There's a pin on the back end here which holds your rear legs in place, as you can see. I haven't done anything other than put it straight uh, back and it's now locked into place. So, down at this end, you've got your two lugs down here. Grab your wheel. Now, the uh, big annoyance here is the fact that they're not fixed. So you'll argue with the wheels uh, wanting to spin round and round and round. Um, but it is what it is. your wheel onto there and as you can see there's a couple of knurled nuts here so one on either side so it's all held together with friction so tighten them up both sides typical right handed thread back up the velcro straps got in the way really helpful so show you sort of size of it as it's now you've got the wheel down the bottom there um, legs at the back holding it up as you can see you've got the, uh, the front end support the two side supports it's um, really easy as you can see these bits just fold down nice and straightforward um, underneath the bottom end here is a knurled nut if I loosen them a little bit that one and that one you'll see that the sides actually slide out um, not the longest bits in the world on the end there usually that's my hand they're only a little bit bigger than my hand just to pop them back into place there and tighten them back up now I'll just grab the handles So handles are exactly the same uh, thing, as you can see they're just two um, square metal poles at the moment. Slide one into the other, into the other there, just loose them like that, and then tighten them up. Do these bits as tight as you can, um, 
having used it on a couple of trips one time that they weren't as tight as they could have been and it, the barrow becomes very unstable so we've got those bits there and that's the barrow set up so as you can see handles at the back here you've got your bag here for various bits and pieces you've got um, your extendable sides here which will also sort of fold down nice and flat um, as we go to the front you've got the same at the front that will extend out about the same length as the sides it folds down whole thing folds down nice and he says easy there we go. and as you can see it's all nice and flat and um, compact so pop it all up the bag at the back end is um, it's waterproof as you can see with the liner in there um, the rod uh, holder which is just down here so the rod, the T piece here, just drops into the back in the middle, in between your handles. Uh, that drops down, no nut again, and it is all set up. So as you can see, hopefully see there, just picking it up, the phone up on the tripod. Um, it's a half decent size. It's 80 quid. It's not too bad. Um, the other ones, uh, they might be easier to set up. They might be. Uh, <clears throat> slightly better clips and things so they might sort of lock into place or whatever but for 80 quid it depends on how often you're going out on the bank and how often you're using it um, I've carried all my stuff around a couple of lakes now uh, with relative ease um, on it um, the gaps in the middle uh, it does end up subject to what you're using and packing on it um, if you've got a I use a Ridge Monkey water butt it will fall straight through the big gap in the middle here, um, which is a bit frustrating, so you've got to do a bit of careful packing. And as you can see, with there being no sides, <coughs> um, nothing in between the uh, sides and the bottom, um, things can slide in and out. So just be wary of that. Um, but yeah, handles, are they do move around a little bit, as you uh, might be able to see there. Um, but they don't tend to come out whilst you're moving the barrow along, so uh, can't complain there, but it does mean there is a little bit of movement as you're going along, so balance will be critical with it. Um, <clears throat> hopefully uh, that's helpful for people who were after seeing one um, and wanted me to do a little bit of a re review on it, but um, yeah, 80 quid uh, as opposed to 200, 150, 200 and something like that, um, you tend to use them once, twice in a session, just carrying stuff to and from the car. Um, can't complain. Um, like I say, there are probably better ones out there, um, but subject to what your, um, sort of where your budget sits and everything, um, I thought that was, it will do the job until I can afford to upgrade. Anyway, any questions, then please feel free to ask. Um, pop them in the comments below. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed.